Hi, this is Todd with the Esoteric. Today we're going to be talking about paint protection film on our Ferrari 488. Okay, so you've been following along uh, in the series and now we've gotten up to paint protection film on our 488 Ferrari. I want to talk about this a little bit uh, in terms of the overall picture of paint protection film, what it does, what it doesn't, not necessarily go from edge to edge to talk about everything that we've done. Having said that, um, on this one we talked about at first when it came and already had paint protection film on it. The clarity was a little bit lacking on it. Uh, the, the install job wasn't bad, but it wasn't up to the level that this customer uh, is gonna want on his cars. We know the customer, we've talked about uh, what we wanna get out of it, and we knew that replacing the paint protection film just made uh, the most sense. We went in, polished out uh, the car after we removed it, and we went and did uh, a reinstall. Now, when we're doing our installations, we take a lot of time to make sure that we have done as good and clean of an install as we possibly can. The level of install on paint protection film, it's not much different than the level of detailing uh, when you're working on a car. There's a lot of different levels of detailing in paint correction. There's a lot of different levels uh, for install quality on uh, paint protection film itself. Now, we're gonna go in, we're gonna wrap the edges as much as uh, we possibly can. We want to minimize the areas that you can actually see where the paint protection film is. That doesn't mean it's gonna be completely uh, invisible. And you know, just trying to set realistic expectations of what paint protection film is, what it is not. Um, you know, you can spend all the time, you can tuck the edges, and you can wait over several days. And that's one of the reasons why ours takes a, a, a little bit longer to do. Because if an edge wants to pop up, it's usually gonna pop up in the first two or three days, which is why we keep the cars for a little bit longer. We wanna make sure that everything uh, stays in place so we don't have any problems later on down the road. Now, when it comes to film, you know, what we're looking for, we're constantly testing. You know, we've shown you uh, in previous videos, we've got close to a $4,000 meter that measures clarity of paint. It also takes those same measurements on paint protection film. And we're testing, we're evaluating, we're comparing one brand to the next. And we're always looking to see with the latest on the market, how everything uh, compares. So we wanna get the clearest uh, film available and we also wanna uh, want have one that's good to work with. It can have a lot of clarity if it's difficult to work with, then you may have work marks or stretch marks in the film when you're trying to get it conform over challenging areas like, uh, like we have here. When we're putting on the film, we know we're going with uh, the best clarity. Now, having said that, while on one side, we want to get the most clarity as possible, we also wanna let our customers and let the general public out there know is paint protection film's job, it's not paint enhancement film. You're not putting it on to make the car look better. You're trying to get as good a looks as you possibly can. You're gonna see edges in some areas. You know, two panels come together, you can't tuck them in uh, right there. Even if you take it apart, body panels move, you have compression and it pushes uh, the film up. Uh, you're gonna see some areas in film, but you wanna minimize that. And the way you minimize that is to have a good film and good um, installation uh, at the same time. So we've got uh, all of this done. We know this customer is gonna drive this car. He wants it protected. That's what paint protection film is there for. It's there to be the sacrificial layer. You're gonna get rock chips in your film. You're gonna get marks in your film, but you get a couple years down the road, you peel off uh, the front end or just the nose, you replace it with new film as opposed to having to spend a couple thousand dollars to have something repainted, then worry about it matching. Try to match up Rosso Scuderia here, you're gonna run into uh, to some serious problems. So if you want to have a museum piece, a car that looks absolutely perfect and stays that way, then don't drive it. Uh, put it in a garage, put velvet ropes around it. If you drive something, even it has paint protection film and coating on it, it's gonna get some marks uh, here and there. It's just all part of the process. Granted, if you take care of it right, you're gonna minimize those, but that's what the paint protection film is there to do, is to prevent damage to the paint. You go out uh, and you run it on the track. 
when rubber hits you at 150 miles an hour, it's going to leave a mark, but it leaves a mark on the film, not on uh, the paint itself. Um, you know, if I look at my experience with paint protection film, I remember I don't know how many cars ago, it was my first uh, car that had paint protection film on. I was a little bit worried at first because I didn't want the looks to change. And back then, film didn't look nearly as good uh, as it does now. But my first car that I had paint protection film on, like uh, an idiot, I dropped a ladder in my garage. It bounced off of the front bumper of my car. It left a small little scuff that I was able to polish out. It didn't do any damage to the paint whatsoever. If I didn't have that film on there, I would have been in big trouble. Then as the years went on and as the cars uh, went on that I had, I started doing more and more film. The film uh, was looking better, easier to work with, easier to maintain. Now, my latest brand new car, I'm gonna wrap that entire vehicle. Why? Maintenance is really easy on it. It's got a nice hydrophobic uh, top coat on it. So basically coating is like built into the film. It looks fantastic. I can go out to track days. I don't worry about it. If it gets some heavier hits at the end of the season, I'll pull it off. I'll put some fresh paint protection film on. If I'm going to car shows, I'm not worried about that tiny little swirl or something that I might have uh, gotten in the paint. It's not going to swirl up or scratch up as bad as paint. It still has the ability to, but it's also uh, self-healing to a certain extent. We've seen some that have had some scuffs in it uh, or uh, a wrong kind of rag has wiped on it. We hit it with a heat gun, all those marks uh, go away. Uh, you do have to be careful when you're maintaining it. You don't want to get up close to edges with uh, a pressure washer. We've seen customers come back, there's a big flap somewhere. We know they hit it with a pressure washer too close and brought that up. So you have to be careful with those. You have to be careful, you pay attention. If anything starts coming up a little bit and you start wiping a towel across it, you're gonna make that uh, worse. Something like that happens, go see your uh, installer. They can do a light little trim on it and then you don't have to worry about it uh, anymore. So having realistic expectations of what paint protection film can do for you is very, very important. Now it comes to cost on doing this. We've seen prices all over the board. And depending on the market you're in, you're gonna get in some markets that are higher prices uh, for them. There's gonna be some markets that are lower prices. But when you're talking a full front end, um, you're typically gonna be looking around the $2,000 range. We've seen some markets upwards of about $2,500 to $3,000 uh, for it. But if somebody, especially they wanna to come to your, your Ferrari and try to get the business and say they'll do it for $1,200, you probably wanna stay away from that because something has got to be lacking in it. And it's typically going to be uh, the quality of the install. Like I said, there's a big difference in the quality of install. You go to try to save money, it's not going to look uh, that great. We had a customer that we worked on a black um, Ferrari Enzo. Saved money on the paint protection film. Once we went to peel it off to polish the car, we found every single area was cut with a knife. Um, not good. That person probably saved money when they did uh, the install, but end up doing damage uh, to the car in the, the, the long run. So you wanna do your, uh, um, your research on the place that's doing the paint protection film uh, for you. See what kind of cars are in there. Talk to some customers that have had it uh, done. Go in person, if possible, to see the level of work uh, that's, that's done. It takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of time to really become a master at paint protection film installation understanding the differences from one brand uh, to the next. Uh, so this customer here, he's coming to us because he knows that we constantly test, we constantly evaluate, we constantly push ourselves to be better at what we do. And in the long run, he's gonna have a protected car that he can go out and drive uh, and not worry too much about. So having said all that, if you find you have any more questions uh, about paint protection film, or your particular car, or different brands or whatever, leave it in the comment section uh, below. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share our uh, videos and this entire series on your favorite uh, automotive uh, forum or uh, detailing gathering group. Um, anything we can help you with, just let us know. For Esoteric Car Care, I'm Todd Cooperwriter. Thanks, and we'll see you again next time.